Hi there, my name is Lucinda Watkins. I am a hiking and backpacking guide. And part of my business is um, we're gonna do some adventure travel trips. So I thought I would make a quick uh, tips video for packing, because one of my friends asked, how do you pack efficiently? So get it into just a carry on or bring just what you need. And so I am making this video for those of you that want some hints and tips. Now, that being said, I'm not an expert. You maybe have traveled more than me and that's okay. These are just some ideas, no judgment, uh, just some ideas for you to use or not, up to you. And I'm always open to learning new things. So if you have some tips or tricks and you wanna put them in the comments of this video, I'd love that. Um, here's a few disclaimers. This is not for the person who packs the night before. This is not for the person who just chucks some stuff in a bag and they go on a trip. That's for the people, this is for the people who like to plan ahead a little bit, who like to be intentional, who like to make sure they have everything that they need and think through. I find a lot of joy in packing and so that's just me. We're usually married to somebody who packs the night before and that's okay too. But, but right here, stop. If you're like just chucking in a bag the night before, this video is probably not for you. This takes some intention, <laughs> takes some planning. When I was thinking about this video and what I was gonna include, um, it occurred to me there's some crossover with backpacking. And so if you're, if you're going on a trip as well as backpacking, I've got some things that's some crossover. Here they are. You only need to bring what you need. That's getting really clear on what you actually need to pack. And here's a really good example. If you're gone for seven days, do you need this? Or do you need this? Or do you need something even smaller like this? This will do seven days of sunblock for you. This will do longer. This will do for even longer. So be the person who brings only what you need and run out by the end of your trip. This also works for backpacking. Only bring what you need. You, for backpacking, if you're gone two days, it makes no sense to bring this. It sometimes makes no sense to bring this. Teeny tiny containers. So my first tip here is go to the dollar store or the drug store and buy one of these little things. There's a whole bunch of little containers in there as well as small ones for shampoo. They're gonna be super handy and help you condense some of those things so you only bring what you need. The second thing is understanding yourself, really knowing who you are, knowing what's important to you. And I talk a lot about this in backpacking is what's important to you? Staying warm, being clean, a pillow, whatever. Understanding what's important to you. This commonly happens with travel where we decide we're gonna be a completely different person on vacation and say we never wear dresses and then we bring 27 dresses we've never worn before. What ends up happening is you don't end up using those things. So getting really clear on who you are. If you're like a sweatpants kind of gal, pack the sweatpants. If you wanna bring one or two dresses cause you're like, I might be that gal, but I'm not really sure do that but don't only bring things that you've never worn or you will never wear so really understanding yourself this is good for backpacking too of understanding what's important to you um, is gonna go a long way so preliminary planning for packing as you can kind of see in the background here um, I have a random pile of clothes I have a random pile of cosmetics that I'm going to take and make sense of and be very intentional with what I'm packing Okay, here's where we get into how I actually pack this. I chose to use packing cubes, which isn't always my favorite thing to do, but there was lots of room in the suitcase. And so I rolled those clothes up tight and used these cubes to keep them organized and that they wouldn't really float around. Here's what the other side looks like. So I've put stuff in small bags and containers because I'm using this in my backpack for hiking and traveling. I've also rolled those jackets up nice and tight and stuffed my socks, or you can stuff clothes inside of your shoes. It's a good use of space because it is just empty space just sitting there. So hiking trip, road trip, I had all sorts of stuff for hiking in there. Here's another closer look at those packing cubes. Um, like I said, you could use uh, stuff sacks like you use for backpacking um, is another option where you can get a fair bit of clothes in a small little space. But I like these packing cubes because I'll be able to open it up, see exactly what I have, and I have it nice and organized. 
here we are uh, back to the other side those some of those little bags so charging cords um, I have my first aid kit in one of those little makeup bags and I only brought two pairs of shoes for this trip here's the final result with the carry-on and the suitcase we're looking at 25 pounds <laughs> 